Welcome to IPACast, Amplifying Voices of IPA. And in this podcast, we'll discuss the world of ASEAN from the Parliament's perspective. And you'll hear the prominent figures, experts, including IPA members of Parliaments who will share their insights and experiences on a wide range of topics. Now, introducing today our speaker and our, our guests is Honourable Dr. Li Cheng as a Vice Chairman of the Commission of Public Works, Transport, Telecommunication, Post-Industry Mines, Energy Commerce, Land Management, Urban Planning and Construction of the National Assembly of the Kingdom of Cambodia. Hello, Honourable Dr. Li Cheng. How's your day so far? It's good today. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Um, Dr. Honorable Dr. Li Cheng is a Vice Chairman of the Ninth Commission of the National Assembly of Cambodia. And he served as an advisor to the Council of Ministers for quite a long time, and I would say nine years from 2009 till 2018, and before becoming uh, the member of the National Assembly until now. And it's an honor to have Honorable to be our guest today in today's episode of iPacast. Now, just a short brief about this episode is we will discuss the IPA resolution on the establishment of the Digital Law Library that was adopted in the year 2022 and initiated by the National Assembly um, of the Kingdom of Cambodia. It is one of their legacy projects when they basically chair um, ASEAN uh, Chairmanship for IPA and the IPA Dig Digital Law Library aims to achieve several objectives. Now, two of which are to harmonize the laws among IPA members of Parliament and to promote parliamentary transparency. Now, we will hear more from Honorable Dr. Li Cheng to share some of the insight. Now, we've actually heard about the Digital Law Library. We were very excited to, to look forward with regards to the progress of this. Now, how does the Cambodian National Assembly perceive the significance of harmonizing law and promoting parliamentary transparency in facilitating the integration of the ASEAN region and further develop, development of the ASEAN community? Honorable. I think, uh, first of all, on behalf of the uh, National Assembly of Cambodia, I would like to say thank you very much for our secretary for uh, organizing the meeting and discussion about the IPA Law Library today. This is very, very important. Like. Uh, like you know, as you know, we seen the 2002 that uh, the IPA, the 43rd IPA that uh, celebrated in Cambodia, Cambodia National Assembly uh, initiated and proposed the uh, IPA Law Library. Because of we seen that we, this is uh, we have the benefit a lot for Cambodian people include ASEAN people and in around the world. That we can promote the ASEAN country to every uh, one to know in around the world, to know about the ASEAN. And because of law, digital law library, we, we uh, at the first, we get the information from the IPA, mm. Secretariat mm. for like uh, like the the, the, the the history of IPA, mm. information of IPA, and then uh, include the uh, Facebook yes. and and the web website mm. from all the country in ASEAN and include IPA. And the second, 
we can gather all the information that adapted by the national assembly mm. and then uh, all the law sometime in the other ministry mm. in other uh, 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 other uh, institution yeah. and then we gather all collect mm. all to put one place easy for store mm. in the clouds uh, and when we we can manage well right and the third the third Uh, we think about the uh, easy for user mm. to to uh, uh, access mm. to access the law that they need not only Cambodia but law in ASEAN ASEAN uh, 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 law and uh, the country law because uh, in our icon we have ten yes. so the law and uh, And when we upload into there, uh, into the the app, mm. easy for the user to access to take the information right. from the law. Right. And one more, we can say, uh, we are the motto of ASEAN. Mm, true. One vision, one mm. identity, and one community. And now, we become all in one of ASEAN in our app. Mm. Okay. I I like to I I like really listening to that concept of, you know, bringing you know one community the vision mm-hmm. right one community and 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 the voice you know yes. of, of ASEAN, and it's really interesting is because we know that this law and the data is so important. Um, a lot of the information are basically scattered. Mm-hmm. So what the idea um, of initiative of having this digital library is to put it under one platform to make it easier for people to access yes. and that's a something that is really um, a, quite a, a motivational thing to do now what basically motivated the Cambodian National Assembly to initiate this establishment of digital law library and in what ways can its establishment enhance in terms of promoting legal harmonization and transparency especially when we say transparency is a very common word um, within ASEAN I think that for the uh, uh, harmonizing and transparency this is uh, very important when we spread out when we disseminate this law to the app or the user or the investor And all the researcher, especially for the student, university student, and all the stakeholder, they mm. can access and get. This is make everyone they know the law well, right. and make the people they understand a lot about the law. Mm. So they join yeah. with us. True. This is like join with us, and when they know the law, they respect the law. Yes. And all the people ASEAN uh, in ASEAN mm. country. And we join as a harmonize, True. harmonizing, and we can collaborate. We can collaborate uh, with all mm. the people around the world, mm. not only ASEAN. This is uh, the I think uh, this uh, benefit a lot for the harmonize and uh, uh, transparency of law. Absolutely. Make the people in power, Absolutely. in power, and then they they can learn more about the, the law, not only. One their country, mm. but they can choose another country True. because one minute or two minute when we host mm. in the in the public, one minute or two minute they can get the information yes. for all of ASEAN mm. law. Mm. I think it's really interesting it's because also to give awareness um, to not just I think it's important for the younger generation to know and to also understand with regards to what is. Um, ASEAN and what is the law that has been actually harmonized. But at the same time, um, we do understand the existence of IPA for 46 years. Mm. We have not really reached out to so <laughs> many of the younger generation. Yes. And we believe that by having this platform, people can actually reach out more. They can get information about the 10 um, member, um, mm-hmm. ASEAN member at the same time. 
So which features and capabilities does the digital law library aim to provide um, to facilitate the harmonization of laws and bolster the parliamentary transparency in the region? Um, this, we, 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 we hope that, you know, it's not just accessible by um, other stakeholders, but it's important as well for those interested to understand the law in the ASEAN region. Um, so it is really good to really understand the features and also the capabilities of this digital law library. I think that for the future and the capability, capability is uh, and uh, make the, the, the user easy to, to access. Mm easy to access, mm. to, to get the law that they want to know. And one more, I think that they can, uh, 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 they can uh, make the collaboration. Mm. When they understand the law, they can make collaboration with other people. And they can and, uh, spread information from one by one. This is the feature that, uh, that, that the people have us. To, 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 to disseminate the, the law to mm. anyone. Mm. And sometimes, I think uh, we know about the, some country that they, they don't want to upload uh, some uh, law into the app, but don't worry, up to them, up to their policy. Mm. If they want to keep, they keep, they want to, uh, they want to upload, upload, if they want, they don't want to upload, mm. they no need. True. This is, uh, True. I think, for people, this uh, and uh, capability is very really good like this. Mm. Okay, I think it is. True. So all, everyone can access easily. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's also interesting that, you know, we do understand in the ASEAN context that a lot of agreements have been signed in mm -hmm. the ASEAN context. Mm -hmm. And to actually understand on the national level, where is the law? Okay. And I guess this is where basically people can access, okay. right? Uh, you know, so, I mean, the broader implication, you know, what sort of broader implication that would, would be arising from this establishment? We anticipate that, you know, people would understand more now with mm. regards to ASEAN agreement that's been signed and what basically mm. law has been ratified on the national level. And the establishment of this library in terms of fostering transparency, which is so important, and in the policy-making process um, of the region? Mm. I think uh, for the making the process of the region, the IPA Secretariat, I will design the more icon for specific and manage, for manage from the IPA Secretariat. Right. Because this is, like you see, ASEAN, mm. Uh, I ASEAN uh, community, ASEAN uh, communication. Mm -hmm. We have agreement a lot with yes. the European country, Africa, oh, and yeah. other. So this is you can add more. I can design. Uh, we can design mm -hmm. uh, icon for specific right. only mm -hmm. uh, for icon more mm -hmm. for only IPA right. because IPA need. Uh, I pass the need upload the document oh, yes, for yes, yes. for the ASEAN country. Yes. For the uh, each country, mm -hmm. they responsible by themselves. Mm -hmm. So they talk about, mm -hmm. they mention about, they upload about their law. Oh. But mm -hmm. ASEAN law, what do you see? Yes. I'm very happy. This is yes. make me make me uh, see the the, 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 the vision, your vision, think about mm -hmm. wrong vision. Mm -hmm. I would like to uh, would like to say thank you very much for Excellency City uh, Secretary General of IPA that uh, he uh, rest up the idea. It's very important. I will support and I will design. All right. For, thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because normally, like when we actually look at digital law library, um, I remember when it was basically uh, initiated, uh, adopted uh, for this, um, we had this conversation. You know that um, this will basically be a very good platform for people to access and not just for the younger generation, not from the legal side, the government side have the access, <laughs> the ASEAN side has the access, you know, um, and having this platform where people can just go in and search 
for some information that they require. Yes. It's not that easy. Of course, all the 10 member will actually have to play their role in putting the data, putting the, mm -hmm. the, the, the law and, and information documents together. And IPA Secretary is basically managing the whole thing. But, you know, th this is something like, like what we said, it's a legacy from uh, the chairmanship during Cambodia. And yeah. it had actually has set uh, a milestone, you mm -hmm. know, um, to, to the rest of, of the members. Now, mm -hmm. in what ways, my final question, Honorable, is like, in what ways can the IPA Digital Law Library contribute again to, we're looking at the future of the socio-economic development in the ASEAN region, and how could um, it contribute to fostering the regional cooperation and development within the region and beyond? I think uh, for the future, this international cooperation is very, very important for our region. Mm. Because when we have the law in their hand, they know about the policy of ASEAN and they will communicate, they will make the contract, they will uh, come to join with our ASEAN. Like you see, uh, this is the, the, when the investor come in ASEAN, when the uh, 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 the partner from other country come in the ASEAN. This is uh, the good point for us mm. that we have uh, that we we can collaboration can make the MOU, can make the contract and invite the investor come to invest in ASEAN country. Sure. Like you see in Cambodia, we have a lot of investor. Mm. They need the law. They want to know the law, for example, hmm. they want to invest in one university building. Hmm. So they need the law of education. Sure. They need the law for investment. How can they spend the capital? How they spend uh, the, the time? How they pay the tax? Hmm. And everything. Because they, they need the law to support them. Sure. To ensure they, hmm. to, to ensure them. Because if uh, uh, guarantee, nobody guarantee, no more home fee, they yes. don't come. So when they come to the invest in, 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 in their country, mm. in ASEAN country, mm. for example, Cambodia. One more, when we upload the law for agriculture, mm. they want to, to support, they want to uh, grow up the, right. the, 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 the plant, grow up the something, but they need the agriculture law. Yes. So they need the agriculture law, then sometimes, uh, 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 then uh, sometimes they see oh the law good, and this is appropriate for them to mm. earn the business in ASEAN country. So they come, they see the economic grow by very fast. Yes. This is the good point that I say the very very important for collaboration. Indeed. For the advantage of the law. Yeah. One. When we already approve, we upload in the uh, mm. app already. Yes. You can see all the people, they spend only one minute or two minutes upload quickly. They know all yeah. about the law, about the information of ASEAN. This is like we promote ASEAN mm. grow uh, uh, as, eco, as, ever, as well as uh, economic growth. True. Mm. Yeah. So I think that's a very important point um, Honorable is basically sharing because um, any investors would look into the transparency yes. of the law that is in that particular country yes, too. Yes, yes. And by having a platform that can actually be accessible, the first thing that they will actually go to is this platform yes. to really understand the constraint yes. there is or they, they need to actually understand. I mean, this, this is, um, again, we, we look forward for this and we hope that you know, the launching for this um, digital law library will basically aim to happen this year. Mm -hmm. So um, um, a quick um, you know, summary to, to everyone, when this is going to be launched, we hope that everyone can actually use this platform um, to access and, and get um, data they're actually looking for. 
um, again, this is looking into the transparent harmonization, the harmonization of law within the ASEAN region. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you so much, um, Honourable Doctor, um, for really joining us um, in our iPodcast. And um, we hope that you know this is one of those early sessions that we actually have, but we want to have a lot of this conversation um, to give awareness, especially um, on what is basically going on with, uh, what are we doing with IPA, what are basically we trying to do in, in terms of what to, to resolve. Um, and um, also to uh, basically update everyone is like, um, Honorable Doctor here is one of the task force committee. And we've been actually having a two day meeting and um, he's very kind enough to really <laughs> join us um, again after a very long day, okay. two day meeting. And we are very grateful um, to really have us. So for closing uh, of this, um, we look forward. And thank you so much for sure, sure. having um, this conversation. And we believe in the Digital Law Library, uh, Honorable Doctor. And now, and, and IPA is the first one who is really setting this uh, a benchmark to say like, hey, you know, we have the Digital Law Library for everyone to use. Yes. Thank you so much. Honorable. Thank you so much. I would like to say thank you to Mike for Secretary General that uh, uh, for support and for uh, invite for the meeting today. And I'm very, very happy because we would like to develop and we would like to show the upgrade of the our uh, IPA Law Library more than one year mm -hmm. that we try my best to develop because uh, mm -hmm. when I met you in Cambodia, I'm very proud in you become a, <laughs> a secretary general i thank told you so much you true about personal i will try my best thank you complete to this law because this is the benefit from our asian oh absolutely, country, absolutely. from asian country and i this morning i would like to say uh, thank you to my all participants that 10 country approve and agree for the law digital law library and they see the benefit all of ASEAN country. I would like to say thank you so much for your prepare the meeting, for your for uh, uh, agree and uh, and all the result fruitful get fruitful this morning, mm -hmm. especially uh, as Mr. Sanja, okay, oh, yes. Mr. Sanja the chair, the chair. Uh, of the meeting uh, this morning. I would like to say thank you so much and wish all our uh, delegation and so to get success in our tasks and all the people in ASEAN and as well as around the world to get uh, the happiness. Yes. For the new Thank year. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for a huge, huge support. <laughs>